The Montessori curriculum starts out in geometry with uh, two parts. One is for three-dimensional uh, figures, which are the geometric solids, and then the other part are the plane figures, which is the geometric cabinet. So we're going to talk about the geometric solids uh, right now. The initial solids that the children start out with are, uh, there are ten of them. And um, with the younger children, uh, what we're doing here is we're interested in kind of the sensorial experience of having the children feel the solids and uh, talk about the solids and name the solids and learn the names of the solids. So this is really all, of, these are all of the objectives that, that we're going to be doing with the geometric solids. The solids that uh, are in this set um, are what we normally would do is start out with solids that are, are more easily recognizable to the child. So, for example, the sphere, and we would talk about the sphere. Um, we hold the sphere, we kind of roll it around in our hands, we gently roll it around on the rug and show that it moves around and that it looks the same any way you look at it. So you're, again, talking about the, this object, talking about what are the properties of it, what doesn't it have. Well, it doesn't have any flat surfaces at all because everything is round. And it's very smooth and it's very even. It's, it's like I said, the same any way you look at it. So this is called a sphere. And then we would take another object that's very similar to uh, what children see in the real world and this is a cube and they've played with cubes uh, blocks when they're little so they're very familiar with what this shape is and now we're introducing the fact that it has a name and the name its real name is cube and it's different again than the sphere because the sphere it rolls although this is the same on, on any way you look at it too it's very different in the way that it's the same because it has flat sides. It has a series of flat sides and all the flat sides are the same. And then they're divided or they're connected by these lines and these points. So we're not going to be naming all of those right now. We're just going to be talking about it and have the children feel both and really get a sense of how does this feel? How does this feel? How is this different? And what are these sides called? Well, they're called squares. And a cube, all of the sides are squares. They're all the same. So we take our time and talk about all the properties of a cube. And then another similar shape that the children see all over the place is a cylinder, uh, soup cans, um, so many things that we uh, see a, a glass of water is shaped, shaped like a cylinder. So here we would show the properties again that the cylinder is round kind of like the sphere on part of it but then the other part of it is flat. But unlike the cube that has a square surface, a cylinder has a circle for one of its surfaces. So this cylinder over here has no surface and then it has two surfaces on the end and those are called bases so this is this is a circle and this is a square so on on the end and again just having this great discussion about what the differences are how do they feel differently and then the last part would be with the older children is actually adding the names so that the children can see what the labels, what they look like, okay? You do a lot of three period lessons with these material, with this material. So you do a lot of three period lessons with this material. This is a sphere, the first period. This is a sphere. This is a cube. This is a cylinder. This is a cylinder, this is a sphere, this is a cube. Show me, second period, show me the sphere. Show me the cylinder. 
show me the cube. Third period, what is this? Cube, what is this? Sphere, what is this? Cylinder, orally at first and then have them match labels cube, sphere, cylinder, okay? And so we'd start out just with the most basic shapes, the most, uh, the, mo the shapes, the most familiar shapes. And then again, this is one that's pretty familiar. This one is a cone. So maybe take away the cylinder next time. Just do those three shapes. Exactly the same lesson. You could add back the cylinder and do four shapes. And then at the very end, when the children got really good at all of this, we're going to add all the shapes so that they are able to name all the shapes. Okay. Okay. So the name of this shape is called an ellipsoid. And I remember this because it most it looks like a football. It's uh, it's got these kind of pointy edges, but they're not really points. It's still rounded on all edges, but it doesn't. It kind of has this kind of looping movement this way, but it's very saw It's very smooth to roll it this way. So this is an ellipsoid, as opposed to this shape, which is very similar. It's very similar, but while this one kind of looks like a football because it's the same on both edges, on both sides, this one is very different. It's more rounded on one side than it is on the other, and this is more like an egg, and it even has the name for egg in its name, which is ovoid because in Latin ovum is means egg, so this is an ovum, ovoid, ovoid ellipsoid. Two-dimensional figure here is an oval and the two-dimensional figure here is an ellipse, but in three-dimensional you add the, the ending oid at the end, so ellipsoid and ovoid. These are also similar because these are both prisms. A prism is a shape that has a rectangle for um, part of its bases. So these are both rectangles. Both of these shapes have rectangles here. But the base here is different. One is a square, one is a triangle. And what makes the, a prism a prism is that it has the same base on both sides. So there's a triangle here, a triangle here. This one has a square and a square. Okay, so this is called a square base prism, and this one is called a triangular based prism. Oops, sorry, prism. A triangular based prism there. The last two shapes, again, very similar, but they come to a point. And the children will say, oh, those look like the pyramids in Egypt. And you say, yes, that's exactly why they're called pyramids, because this in geometry is the name of a shape that has a flat surface on its sides, but it has a wider base on one end, and then it comes to a point on the other end. So a triangular-based pyramid. And this one is a pyramid, but instead of three sides, it has four because the bottom of it, the base of it, is a square. So this is a square-based pyramid, okay? So again, you'll see that these are very similar from this side, but they're very different from this side, and they're also very different from this side, okay? So the more you can talk to the children, same here, difference between the prism and the pyramid, here, here, and here, okay? 
so this is a this these can be done as a group lesson uh, with an all all the children in a circle when you're getting ready to go to lunch you just name the cylinders name the shapes uh, the cylinder you name this sorry let me try that again so naming these uh, shapes can be done uh, during transition times they can be done during formal um, geometry lessons so uh, these are the basic uh, the basic shapes in that start out with three-dimensional geometry and then as the children get older um, they these shapes will get larger and they'll also become hollow so that you can do experiments of volume with them but at this point they're solid and that's hence their name and uh, this this is a lot of fun um, just naming these and feeling them coming up with all the things in the real world that look like it you can make a book of all the cylinders that you see they can cut out cylinders in magazines they can cut out triangular based pyramids or square based pyramids um, look for architectural uh, examples or in the grocery store what maybe fruits and vegetables might look like a, a lettuce looks like a sphere for example certain kinds of lettuce um, so ice cream cones you know what kind of food can you find an orange sphere looks like an orange or an apple um, so this is an egg so I mean there's lots of, of ways that you can make the connection between the real world and and these uh, the, the names of these shapes and this is the beginning of uh, three-dimensional geometry study